Americans glimpse Jimmy Carter's frailty and his resolve. Come hell or high water, Jimmy Carter was going to use his inner resources to be there, the presidential historian Douglas Brinkley said of Mr. Carter's emerging from hospice care for his wife's memorial service. His face was pale and gaunt, his legs were wrapped in a blanket, and his eyes never seemed to make contact with the family members huddled around him. But on Tuesday, Jimmy Carter was there, in the front row of a church in Atlanta, just a few feet from the coffin holding Rosalind Carter, his wife of 77 years. Mr. Carter, 99, was some 164 miles from his home in Plains Gay, where he had been in hospice care since February. He was brought into the church in a wheelchair as the crowd of mourners at the memorial service looked on, many of them catching their first glimpse of him in nine months. That he would make such a trek in his condition was, to some, shocking, and, to his family, worrisome. And yet it was also very true to form, a display of the tenacity, bordering on stubbornness, that has been a defining characteristic of Mr. Carter, the longest living president in U.S. history.